Hey, Bobby here, and in this video, I want to talk about how to project and display masculinity. See, a lot of times, a woman will walk all over you if she doesn't sense that you're a man. Now, in other videos, I talked about the ways that women will subtly test you, and you can watch my videos on shit tests for that. But in this video, I want to focus on specific traits that you really want to be displaying to project that masculine energy, that vibe that women want from a real man. Now, there's things people notice about you, especially women, that tell them how much power you have. So let's get into them and let's see how many you can incorporate into your life. So first off, take full responsibility for your life. You must decide right now that you will be the sole determiner how your life pans out. This means you no longer blame anyone or anything outside of yourself for your success or your failure. You've made a crystal clear decision of what you want to achieve in life and you take 100% full responsibility for achieving it. Now, once you have taken this internal vow of responsibility, uh, it's time to set boundaries for yourself. Now, these boundaries make up what many people refer to as integrity, right? These boundaries define your own behaviors and they also define the behavior that you're willing to tolerate in other people. You gotta set personal boundaries, which is the second thing, right? One of the most prominently displayed characteristics of a real man is the ability to walk away from someone that compromises the boundaries that you set for yourself. Now, uh, throughout life, you're gonna run into people who will try to exert control over you through the use of guilt, approval, sex, money, shame. There's nothing more powerfully masculine than to send the message to everyone around you that you cannot be controlled. This puts you in a position of being the person that other people revolve around rather than twisting your ideals, your values, your goals for the first woman willing to spread her legs for you. Now, this willing to walk away radiates outward and it's very, very attractive. Ask yourself, what am I not willing to tolerate? You know, what behavior am I not willing to tolerate? What am I not willing to tolerate in myself or those people around me? Third, show your sword without using it. When a lot of guys decide to set boundaries for themselves and kind of define how their life's gonna go, they make the mistake of taking on a me versus the world attitude. And these are the guys that you see fighting in bars all the time. Now that they finally set boundaries for themselves, they look for any opportunity they can to enforce these boundaries through the use of, you know, sharp words or, or force. You know, these are the guys that tell a woman off. But this way, uh, this me versus the world attitude winds up having the opposite effect. And instead it makes you look like, kind of like a little boy who can't control his emotions, who throws temper tantrums. Um, much more powerful is the man who's able to show his sword without using it. This means uh, the man that has such rock solid internal confidence that those around him naturally back down without him having to use threats or violence to accomplish this. The man may know that, you know, he can take the other guy, but instead he handles himself in a situation, you know, really mature manner, allowing the other guy to save face. Uh, number four is be cool as hell in a gunfight. Now, anybody can put on a mask of manliness and walk through life, right? And many times that false mask will get you pretty far, right? Fake it till you make it, but you can count on one thing. At some point in your life, you will be tested. And it'll be at that point that your true colors will be revealed. Women test you all the time, but tests can come in other ways. I remember a guy back in college, a guy I knew around campus, right? He was dealing drugs back then. This guy had the outward appearance of being cool and alpha and you know, a tough guy. But when the day came, when the cops busted into his dorm room, knocked his door down, that same guy cried like a girl and he began ratting out everybody he knows. Real men are able to control their emotions in every situation. When a real man catches his woman cheating on him, he simply walks away and finds another one. He doesn't let the pain from the encounter, you know, send him into an emotional tailspin, you know, wounding him for life and making him, you know, hate women forever or, you know, do something worse and, you know, physically assault a woman. A real man is a rock in a situation. He walks away from what he doesn't approve of. And a real man handles himself the exact same way, no matter who he's around. This means that he's unaffected by beauty, 
you know, class, privilege, smart people, poor people, rich people. Uh, he intermingles between all these groups and he does not shift his value in doing so. Now, the fifth and final trait is encourage and mentor others. A real man is so content and satisfied with his own life that he doesn't feel threatened by the success of others. In fact, a real man goes around encouraging others, you know, wants to find ways to help them to accomplish their goals. You will find throughout life that many guys you initially think of as, as, as real men often wind up revealing their true colors, trying to hold down other guys who they feel a threat to their power. Real men don't feel threats, right? Real, real men don't feel threatened by anyone else's success. It's very, very important. You know, all players are not real men, but being a real man makes it much more likely that you get the same results with women as these so-called players get because women are drawn to masculine power, right? They're drawn to masculine energy. And one of the benefits of harvesting this power and living by those rules is it naturally brings you to take, take women off a pedestal, right? When you're feeling this, you take women off pedestals, which is one of the seven mindset shifts I teach in my player paradigm.